Loots from Mimic could carry you well through early to even mid-hard mode, but they aren't always available early since without proper tactic, you will be the one spilling your insides. Fortunately, they can be summoned using Key of Night and Key of Light, allowing you to choose your own battleground, and that is exactly what we will take advantage of. Of course, the safest biome is the best biome for this battle, and the flat forest biome will do just perfectly. The arena itself is composed of three platforms, one main platform in the middle and two sub-platforms on each side, each about 10 tiles apart and high enough to prevent slimes from jumping on. The main platform should be about half a screen long in order to minimize any mobs from spawning on it when you reach either end. The use of sub-platform will be explained during combat sequence, but for now, just know that it is better to be about half the size of the main platform. And that's all there is. If you want to add a little extra effort, completely flatten out the area below and in vicinity. It could help. Maybe, I don't know. Now let us go over the gears we need. 1. Spectra Boots that grant speed and temporary flight. Swift Potion to give extra edge on the heels. You can brew one using Blink Root, Cactus, and Water Bottle. Not much trouble there. The amount you need will depend on how poor your weapon of choice is. Speaking of weapon, long-range weapons are the best choice. Of course, stronger the better, but it will only affect the duration of the battle. Long as you deal more than a scratch, anything can take down a Mimic given enough time and ammunition. For this video, I will be using Molten Fury, a pre-hard mode weapon, and Cheap Wooden Arrow because they are... cheap. Health Potion because sometimes we make mistakes. Though with little practice, you will be able to pull this off without single bruise. The strategy here is quite simple. Pop your Swift Potion, summon the Mimic, then keep running from side to side. This prompts Mimic to chase you, flying in easily targetable fashion. Run to one end, dodge the Mimic, and then run to the other end, then dodge again. It's just like Spanish bullfight, only far less graceful. Keeping the Mimic busy this way will also reduce Mimic's tendency to perform fast and less predictable attacks. Although a little risky, try not to fly too high when dodging since lingering in the air slows you down and this will allow Mimic to catch up easier. If the Mimic lands on the main platform, you'd want to draw it away and the sub-platforms will help you put extra distance without having to run on land filled with slimes. However, running off too far from the arena could cause slimes to spawn on the main platform, and if so, focus on disposing them before they grab your ankle. Of course, do not forget to drink more of those speed potions every 3 minutes. Sooner or later, it will be the Mimic's turn to spill its inside. The Glorious Loots Obviously, this was only to demonstrate minimum requirement for hunting Mimic. If you have better items at disposal such as wings, armors, or potions, they will make this strategy significantly easier. Also, prioritize on equipping accessories that increases your movement speed, such as faster boots or anything with brisk, fleeting, hasty, or quick modifier. As the greatest YouTuber once said, speed is key.